right now at 3.30, the new school year for Miami-Dade County Schools is right around the corner. A mask mandate is in effect for all students and staff. And today we're learning more about other safety protocols in place. Local 10's Alex Finney joins us live from Miami with all the latest. Alex. And so Eden and Janice, there's a lot to really talk about here, but the bottom line, we met with Superintendent Alberto Carvalho a little bit earlier, and he says that the district is ready. It's back to school in Miami-Dade come Monday, and students and parents, well, they can expect a different classroom for the 2021-2022 school year. We have signs for everything here. Yes, we do. COVID screenings, enhanced cleaning, enhanced air filtration systems, and AC units, just to name a few. We took a tour of Hylia Gardens Elementary. I'm excited because you know what? The kids are resilient. They're going to do what they need to do to stay safe. Perhaps the biggest topic, though, today across the board, masks in schools. Broward now feeling the heat of the State Board of Education, giving the district 48 hours to comply with the governor's mandate or salaries will be cut. Miami-Dade voted to approve a face mask mandate as well. We are focusing less now on the threats, of consequences, on pressures from uh, other governmental entities. Superintendent Alberto Carvalho says he's ready for what may come, as he also recommended a mask mandate despite opposition from the state. We are determined and unflinching in our conviction that doing right sometimes comes uh, with threatening conditions. But that defines who we are, and uh, we remain steadfast in, in uh, support of the protocols that we adopted. And the superintendent said that there are some stress points when talking about just staffing for bus drivers. So bear with me here. He said that the district is working to fill approximately 60 out of the 1000 routes throughout the district. And as a matter of fact, they are short about 60 teachers at this point. But Superintendent Carvalho said he's not concerned. He feels as though Monday is going to go off without a hitch. But of course, he's going to be watching everything to make sure that remains the case. For now, this very latest live in Miami, Alex Finney, Local 10 News.